Welcome to Virtual Hunter. We're playing the recently released early access version available on Steam right now through an Oculus slash MetaQuest 2 using Virtual Desktop. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, be fantastic if you are one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video or the game. It's early access, so I'm sure the developers are reading comments and tweaking the game to suit. So let's check it out. Let's just jump right into the tutorial. Movement, let's do it. We are standing, that looks good. Play. Ooh, that, oh, fireplace is gone. Okay. In this chapter, you learn about movement. Walking, turning, running, player stances. Okay. Start chapter. It's a cozy little cabin. Okay. Hold down to open in-game menu. There we go. Press to close in-game menu. Go to the blue hologram circle to continue. Do, 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 do. All right, what's next? Press left or right to turn. You can toggle the run by pressing the thumbstick while moving. Okay, probably won't use a snap turn since I can turn in room scale. Uh, run, okay. We are running. Okay, three stances, stand, crouch, and prone. You can lower your stance by pushing thumbstick down and raise it by pushing thumbstick up. Is that That's prone, I guess. Crouch, stand. All right. Go to the blue hologram to continue. Let's hustle up. All right. Chapter two, the store. How to use the store. How to buy and take items, buying ammo and consumables. So we got a map over there. Nice couch, picnic table, start chapter. Each outpost and the hunting lodge has a store at the back, and it's marked with a sign. Go to the store to continue. I hear a duck. All right, here's our store. Maybe that's squeaking floorboards. Welcome to the store. Here you can buy new equipment, store them, and stock on ammo. Each item has their own spot here where you can store them when they are not in use. Each buyable item has a price tag. If you can afford it, the buy button on the tag is orange. Uh, press it and confirm to buy. Ammo and consumables can be bought infinitely. You can see your money on your mobile tracker. I guess that's this. I don't see any money there. After you buy an item, the price tag disappears and the item becomes usable. Okay. Interactions, grabbing and using items, back and belt inventory. All the weapons can be found in the store. Weapons can be carried in your back inventory, one behind each shoulder or on the side of the backpack if you own it. All right, learn more about each weapon by pressing info button on their info sheet. You can grab objects, use objects, and use grabbed objects. Okay, grip is to grab, trigger is to use, yellow indicates it's grabbable, and blue means it's usable. Okay, so we got a grabbable rifle. Touch the highlighted item and press to grab. Press and to grab, okay, had to be highlighted like that. Uh, what now? Touch the highlighted item and press to grab. We did that. Oh, scope. Okay, so we have to go actually till we get the yellow outline. There we go. Put the weapon on your back. When the controller vibrates, it's ready. You have a 303 British rifle. Buy now some 303 British ammo. All right. Press this. All right, sweet. Can we put that? Hmm. Can be carried in your belt inventory. Next. 
That's our ammo slot, but didn't we buy this? How come we can't pick it up? Maybe it's already in our slot. Binoculars are useful. Get them from the shelf and put it into an empty slot in your belt inventory, okay? Binoculars. There's the outline and... Okay, they're in the inventory there. Next up, weapon handling. Go outside and follow the path to the shooting range. Uh, okay. Um, is that the path up there? I wonder if we have stamina. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. Can we grab the binoculars? Or I have to actually use them? No, yellow is grab, but I can't seem to grab them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Whoa. That's, uh... A bit hard to look through. I'm not sure. Going a bit cross-eyed with that. Okay. Let's put those back and get... Get along to the shooting range. Oh, I see it up ahead there. I'm a coming. Oh, we got a nice, uh, Backdrop here. I see our target over there to go stand at. Loading and reloading, shooting and shot placement, how to stabilize the weapon, how to operate the shooting range. This is the range, practice your skills. Ammo is not consumed, but you need to have some to get started. You will also find shooting range at the main lodge. Go to the blue hologram. Take the weapon on your back. Okay, done. Hold it with both hands. All right, ungrab this hand, step by step. And we gotta open it up. Okay, we got a blue outline there. We're going to use the trigger to open the bolt. And then have the bullet or round, in you go. Okay, 10 rounds. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay. What happens when we try to put another one in? We can't even grab it. Oh, we can. No, we can't. Okay. Um, there. All right. You need to shoulder your rifle. Now I know this has like a virtual stock. I'm not using a 3D printed stock right now. Uh, might try that out another session. You can stabilize the weapon. Hold the trigger from the secondary hands controller. All right. Well, Let's see what we got here. Ooh, it zooms right in. Got our breath. Let's move it over. Nice shot. Now we need to reload. Uh, oh, uh, no, that's fine. I got to use the trigger. Why is that not grabbing? Curious. I guess we're not reloading right now. We're uh, just uh, cycling. There we go. Next. Aim through the scope, hold your breath, shoot at the target ahead. We'll continue after you hit the target. I already hit the target. Okay, where's the target? 
dead over there. Did we not hit it now? Okay, let's try that again. Nice. On your right, there is a green control box. Inspect your shots, change target type, and move the current target further or closer. Let's inspect. Huh. We missed with one? I could swear I hit it three times. All right. What's next? Change the current target to a 3D deer by pressing the deer button to continue. There's a deer, and then back it up. All right. We gotta reload, I think. A little lower. Let's see what we hit there. Oh, looks like through a lung. Oh, just uh, just above the heart. So not too bad. Let's see if we can put another one on. Oh, what am I aimed at there? Way too high. A little lower, back. Huh, through the other lung. Still missed the heart. Let's try one more. Let me get that bolt. A bit tricky to activate the, the blue outline there. Over a bit. No, lost it. Oh. Yeah, you really got to shoulder it right the first time. Or it's very difficult. Oh. To get on target. Move it over, move it over, move it over. That's probably about the same spot. That bolt, there we go. Having trouble aiming low here. Oh. Move it back over, back over. It's not moving over. Let's try it again. Pretty wild swings. There we go. That's a good one. Nope. Too far back. All right, well, good enough, I think. Next. Press continue when you are ready. Follow the path back to the outpost building to find the next hologram circle. I'll see you later. Well, this could be closer, not gonna lie. Maybe we'll just cut through the woods. It's a hunting game anyways. The graphics are all right. Mechanics are a little rough, but I'm sure they'll uh, polish them off. Okay, we're supposed to... Okay, there's the uh, figures. It's on the path. Oh, tracks. Scanning a track, setting the active track, identifying footprints, reading droppings, reading calls, animal senses,
player stances during tracking. Okay, a lot going on here. You can find animal footprints in the wild. You can get information about these footprints using your mobile tracker on your wrist. If you activate the track, all tracks of this particular animal will be a different color than other tracks. How do I point this mobile tracker? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's activate. Red deer. Follow the tracks. Okay, they're blue now. I see blue over there. Let's uh, let's reload. Vegas, that's it. Okay. We are locked and loaded. Hopefully that went back over our shoulder. I think it did. Okay. Where's the next set of tracks? Go in this direction. Let's uh, get our stock on. Unless they were going the opposite direction. I don't think so, though. I'm not seeing any blue at the moment. I'm not seeing any deer either. Oh, there. Up, up is what we wanted. Okay. Take it slow. Oh, there's some over there. I think they'd have a, a wind direction indicator. Not yet. Oh, there are some right in front of us. I think I see a hologram over there. Oh, there's some more tracks right in front of us. We got a little clearing up ahead. Okay, I'm assuming we're not going to spook it in the tutorial. What was that? That rustling? Was that us? Oh, I guess we walked through a shrubbery. Okay. We got some scat, some droppings. If they are fresh, aged, finely aged droppings. Three days. Okay, still, uh, I don't see any more tracks. Oh, there. It's gonna take us a while if those droppings were aged. I guess we have to avoid the uh, plants if we wanna really be quiet. Not seeing any more tracks. Oh, there. Which direction are they heading? They're heading, heading this way. There's some just ahead of us. Don't see any movement. 
guessing we're going to see it once we get to the top of that ridge. Let's uh, move a bit faster. Okay, we're turning a little bit here. Make a little more noise in the in the greenery. Oh, we have another hologram. That was the deer calling. When you hear a call, your mobile tracker shows the information. At the bottom left, you see the call buffer size if there is more than one call at the same time. Press the activate button to activate that animal's tracks or the cancel button to ignore. Came from over here. So let's activate. the same uh, same tracks we were on let's get low up here as we come over the top whoa things are jiggling I wonder if it's windy is this a different one no that's another red deer I think it's the same same one oh we have another hologram over there Try to keep our rifle up. We're gonna add our fingers on the trigger. Tisk tisk. Made another call. The animal might have sensed you. The animals have three senses, hearing, sight, and smell. Really? When you move or shoot, the animal can hear you. If you move slower, you also make less noise and the animals can't hear you so easily. If you go through bushes and small trees, you make more noise. We'll see you better if you stand. If you are a crouch or prone, you're less visible. You can also use the vegetation to hide yourself from animals. Bushes and small trees make you less visible. If the plant is dense, it is a better hiding place. Keep your eye on the wind direction so animals won't smell you. Watch the vegetation or use the wind indicator. What's the, where's the wind indicator? Is that it? I thought that was maybe me. Try keep the wind on your face. You can also use buildings or scent eliminators to cover your smell. Each stance affects your visibility, noise, and speed. You can change, yeah, we know that. The deer is near now because you heard a call. Start crouching and move forward to the single tree at the edge of the meadow. The edge of what meadow? Behind us? Or in front of us? Okay, uh, it's behind. That's the next spot right ahead of us. Hearing them, but I'm not seeing anything just yet. Aren't we on the spot? There we go. Stalking. Shot placement and timing, blood tracks, Tracking the shot animal harvesting using the harvest screen, animal trophies using the map. It seems like a good spot to look for the deer. Don't move or it might detect you. Take the binoculars and scout the area. Uh, can I adjust these binoculars? because they're making me a bit cross-eyed again. Let's, uh, let's get all the way down. Call 
calls sounded like they were coming from this direction. But I'm not seeing anything over there. I think he would be in the meadow. I mean, it seems like there's something right there, but not when I look through the binoculars. Just got to keep looking. Oh. It seemed like there was a deer shaped object over there but I'm not seeing it through the binoculars. Well, it's just a leaf on that tree now that I, is it though? Let's try to acquire that tree. Looking right ahead there. I think it is part of, part of the tree. That's the tree, I think. Yeah, it's that. What was what I was looking at, that leaf. Okay, so it's not that. Told us not to move. I'd really like to move, but... I'm not seeing any shapes that look like a deer. Might try through the uh, scope, even though that would be a no-no if this were reality. Where are you hiding? Okay, let's try standing up. See if we get a better vantage point. And maybe saw a shape between the trees there. Call seems to be coming from over there. But I'm not seeing anything. So if this tree is supposed to be giving us cover, let's try looking straight through the tree.
Not having a whole lot of luck here. Can we move? I'm actually stuck here. Maybe I should click next? Now we wait. Oh, okay. Uh, keep your eyes open for it and wait until it goes to open. Oh, it was out of view. Okay, let's get down. Put those back. We can find the drop spot. There we go. Aim at the lungs for a vital hit. I don't think we hit it there somehow. Down, 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 down. Um, two shots. Both seem like they were going to hit, but we do not have a hit. So let's. Try to get back on target here. Okay. Okay, move it down. Come on back up. Well, sums off here. Okay, looks like we ran into a little bug there. The uh, deer showed up antlerless and we don't have a, a doe tag. No, I don't know what the bug was, but we reported it to the devs in the Discord. They're looking into it, and we're going to try this part of the tutorial again. And that's a good thing because I missed this part of um, functioning binoculars. So it turns out you're supposed to hold them with both hands, and you can move the lenses closer with one trigger and apart with the other trigger. So, let's try that. Okay, that, that's moving them apart. That's moving them together so we can get actually a good picture with the binoculars. And we can glass around a bit. Now, I'm not sure what triggered the deer to um, the next part of the tutorial. I guess next would help. Uh, so, let's do that. Now we wait. Okay, so this is where we were at before. And let's see if we can get a, a deer with some antlers to come out. Now we wait. Oh, that looks like some antlers. Can we uh, check it out with the binoculars? Yes, we have antlers. Well, that's a buck. So, almost completely in the open now. I think we're locked and loaded. No, we are not. Pretty sure I can do it with one round. Right? What, let's put three to be sure. Nope, not quite. Okay, we're a bit off. Let's get back on. Okay. And I want to climb up 
Oh, that would have been a good shot. Okay, come on up again. Oh, a little higher. Now's the time. Oh, ran out of breath. You hit it. Let's go check the blood marks and see how good shot it was. All right. Oh, I guess that's a blood mark. Still up, though. You could probably take another shot at this point. Although we got a bad angle. Oh, I think he's going down. And he's out. So there's our blood mark okay uh, can't quite read that when you shoot the animal it drops the hit blood track and after that it starts dropping the bleeding blood tracks you can use the camera of your mobile tracker to read these tracks the hit blood track shows you whether the hit was vital non-vital or flesh hit bleeding track shows you the bleeding rate of the animal huh cool you can set the track active using your mobile tracker. All right. Hits always cause bleeding. If you hit a vital, the bleeding is larger than a non-vital. The bleeding rate is also faster when the animal moves faster. Vital and non-vital hits always kills the animal. Okay. All right. So let's use our mobile tracker. Vital. Sweet. So we'll activate that. And, uh, well, I mean, we can see the, the deer up there, so well, that was us just going through some uh, foliage there. Yeah, pretty large pool. Large. Okay. Now we want to approach with caution. like he's done harvest the animal by pointing your mobile tracker to the carcass and press the harvest button score 200 common fur integrity 100 percent sweet what does x-ray do okay never mind accept you have a map in your belt inventory you can grab it and drop it in front of you to open it. You will see the outposts and the hunting stands of the current reserve. You can travel between these outposts by pressing the outpost icon and then pressing the travel button. Travel back to the outpost. So, the map. Oh, there's the map. Is that the map? Okay. So that's the outpost. And... Is that heart? What's that deal? Travel. Oh, that's nice. Buildings. Outposts, hunting lodge, selecting a reserve, selecting a time, bookshelf, and trophies. Inside each outpost and the main lodge, you will find a store, a map, digital clock, and a bookshelf. You can use the digital clock to set the time of day. Okay. The bookshelf contains the book of player statistics and info books about each species. Maps inside the hunting lodge can be used to start a hunt by traveling to an outpost. Maps inside the outposts can be used to fast travel between the outposts. 
The hunting lodge is the main building. There you will find a store, a trophy room, a bookshelf, and the maps. You can go to the hunting lodge through the in-game menu. Well done. Now you are ready to head out on your own. Open the in-game menu by holding B and return to the main menu. So, main menu. Yes. Can we get to that? There we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, what does play do for us? Okay. That's all good. This is going to put us at the, the main lodge. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. We still have our, uh, we do. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Oh, that's nice. There's our clock, our map, our bookshelf. Just have a look around. Store. Is there trophies in here? Is that the back door? Um... Do we see a trophies rack? Maybe it's upstairs. Let's just have a peek upstairs. Oh, trophy room. Ooh, that's big. We got no trophies. All right. Well, let's uh, warm up by the fire. Well, there you have it. A little taste of Virtual Hunter. Currently in early access on Steam. We're playing on an Oculus Quest 2 through Virtual Desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game. Remember, it's early access. The devs are reading. So put your feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.